white people, right? White on white crime, Chinese on Chinese. Those are not sayings, right? What, what, what you are talking about, you are speaking the, you are speaking the truth. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, man. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right, that's what's up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta move in the spirit. Gotta move in the spirit. But, but there, there's a specific reasoning as to why these things happen to us. Because we don't see the we don't see a Chinese person, you know what I'm saying, going through the same things that we go through. That's right. That's and we don't right. see the, the Arabs or you know the, the in East Indians going through. Why it's just us, right? That's right. So I'm, I'm out here. I'm trying to show you why these things happen to us as a people, right? Yeah. So get through Deuteronomy 28. 28. Are, are you familiar with um, the Israelites? By any chance? Okay. So what we're out here doing is we're out here teaching the so-called blacks. Hispanics, Native Americans, that our true nationality is we're the children of Israel. So let, let, me, let me show you the style real quick, right? There's 12 tribes of Israel. Where do you see yourself on this side? You said Barbados, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's in, the, that's in the West Indies, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Caribbean. Caribbean, right? So yes. Yeah. right here? Yeah. So Jamaica and the West Indies, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Actually, that's in the West Indies, yeah, yeah. Right, what do you see right here? Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin. 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 So according to the Bible, you'd be an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, right? Oh, right. That's right. Nationality, right? So now I want to I want to show you. I want to show you out of the Bible why these things happen to us as a people, right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. Uh-huh. So are you familiar with um, Moses by any chance? Yeah, Moses, yeah. What, what, yeah. You, what you know about Moses? Um, yeah. They say when you read the Bible, it shall come to pass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I felt, I didn't know, I believe, I believe in the God and I believe in the Bible. I got it. Okay. So now let me let me let me make this Bible come to life for you, right? Let me make this Bible come to life for you. So just to kind of give you a backstory, right? Moses, he was the one that God ordained for the to save the children of Israel. Because when Israel was in Egypt, they were slaves of the Egypt. So God raised him up to be able to save them out of that condition, right? So this is Moses here talking to the children of Israel, and it shall come to pass, right? Yes. Read on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, so if, we, if the children of Israel don't want to listen to the voice of God, right? Read on. To observe, uh -huh. to do all his commandments. Right. And his statute, right? Which I command thee this day. Right, so we're saying if, if the children of Israel don't listen to God, do all these commandments that he tells them to do, right? What's gonna happen? Read on. That all these curses. All these what? All, all these, these curses. curses. Right, it says all these curses, right? Read on. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so if the children of Israel don't listen to God, it says all these curses are gonna come upon them and overtake them. Now, are curses a good thing or are they a bad thing? Okay, right. The curses are a bad yeah, thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So let's see some of these bad things that are that he's gonna go into, and let's see if we can relate to that as a people, right? We, you can read the next verse. Curse shalt thou be in the city. Curse what? Curse, curse shalt thou, thou be, be in, in the, the city. city. So the first curse that Elias is that the children of Israel are gonna be cursed in the city, right? So if you look around all across the globe, right? What race of people live in the ghettos? Live in the slums? Live in a trap. <laughs> no, it, it, you can't be thinking that hard on it, man. <laughs> yeah. It's us, right? It's yeah. us. The so called blacks, the Hispanics, Native Americans, we're the ones that live in these low income neighborhoods, right? What, what if you say that that's a cursed state of living? Right? Because we don't see the we don't see majority of, of um you know the, the Caucasian man living in living in living in a trap, having to having to get it out the mud, right? That's our people, right? Our people that's what I'm to is that you know something? I know that you have been here, but it, you know it's a generation curse too. Yes. Yeah, people that cast spells and it's the generation curse from um for your kids. Yeah. And down the line, you know I me. Mean? Exactly. The people that do like wickedness, you know. Exactly. For people cast spells. It's a generational curse after generational bumps. Exactly. Bumps, bumps. It's a generational curse, yeah. right? Yeah. The Bible talks about that too. That it, that it, it's it's gonna be um it's gonna be problems with the the husband, the wife, and and with the children. Yeah. You can get fifty. Go to fifty four. Go to verse fifty four. Right. Verse fifty four. Uh huh. So that the man that is tender among you, right, very delicate, uh huh, is I. 
shall be evil towards his brother. Right, so it says, his eye, a man that's supposed to be tender and delicate among you, right? Even that man that's supposed to be the nicest person, he's gonna have an evil eye towards his brother, right? So we see we see that within our neighborhood, right? Black on black crime, right? Our people shooting each other down for no reason. That's right. No reason whatsoever. If you step, a brother steps on another brother's shoes, he's pulling out the AK and shooting them dead, right? We see that all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's a curse. Yeah. That would that would happen, right? That's a curse. And that, that shows that we don't see that happening with the white people, right? White on white crime, Chinese on Chinese. Those are not sayings, right? What, what you are talking about, you are speaking the, you are speaking the truth. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right, that's what's up, right? You see? You see this Bible is coming to life. We see all these things that we deal with as a people. We, we see that in the scriptures, right? These scriptures come to life right there. But it's gonna get more and more in the detail, right? Right, read on. And toward the wife of his bosom. Right, so that same evil eye that he has towards his brother, that man is gonna have it towards the wife, right? That's why a lot is it's very prevalent in our community, right? That our that our, our man, the man and the the husband and the wife, or man and the woman, they, they have in all kinds of, you know, bad relationships or, or you know physical abuse or domestic violence, right? Yeah. That happens pre uh, predominantly in, in our in our communities and our neighborhoods, right? Yeah. Right, read on. And toward the remnant of his children. Right, he has that same hatred towards his children, right? But, but read this next part, read on. Which he shall leave. Which he shall what? Which, Which he, he shall, shall leave. leave. That man is gonna leave his child. What race of people are known for having no fathers in their household? Right. Did you grow up with your father in your life? No. You see? That, that's the script that's coming life right here, right? My father, my father was a pop. And he, mm -hmm. he neglect me. I ain't reason when I father, you know what I mean? Yeah. I tell you. Yeah. But I make a man. Mm -hmm. I'm 49 years old now. Mm -hmm. I make a man. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't need a father no more. He, he's actually you know he's a deceased. Oh, okay. 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 I'm sorry to hear that. But um, yeah, you see that? That's the script that's coming life right yeah. now. You can, you can relate to that. Because that, that happens predominantly in our neighborhood, right? Yeah. You know, I was very fortunate. I grew up with a father in my life, you know, but a lot of our people, they don't grow up with their fathers in their life, right? Yeah. You're, 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 you're an example of, of one of those people, right? You know, and that, that's a curse. Yeah. That's a curse because our people didn't want to follow God's commandments. That's why we got to go for these things as a people. Yeah. That's, right. why, that's why all these bad things happen to us, right? Now, go to 68. This is the, this is the, 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 the cherry on top, right? How are you there? Verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. Right. So it says God is going to bring us into Egypt again. But when it's talking about Egypt in this context, it's not talking about the, the land Egypt. It's talking about that condition, right? You know, you know what I want to answer this. It's talking about that condition because when Israel was in Egypt, remember, they were slaves. Yeah. So the only thing that they're going to remember about Egypt is that is what they were doing in there, which was slaving, you know, having to, to face hard bondage, hard labor. That's what they remember Egypt as. So when it's talking about Egypt, it's not talking about we're going to go back to that land on ships. We're going to go back to that same condition. But this time it's going to be by ships. Right now, now read this one first. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Bring it out. Oh! I am the Lord thy God, which uh -huh. have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, read on. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? Out, out of, of the, the house, house of, of bondage. bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Bondage means slavery. So Egypt is synonymous for, for bondage, it's synonymous for slavery, right? I'll go back to Deuteronomy. So now that we got that understanding of what Egypt is talking about, now let's read this verse in context, right? Read on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again right into slavery again read on with ships with what with, with ships, ships. So it says with ships so we're going to go into slavery again but this time it's going to be by ships who came who what race of people came here america barbados jamaica trinidad on on ships it's, um it's barbados jamaica yeah because in slavery thing they actually catch capture all the black people and met them, handcuff them, met them work hard, you know what I yeah. mean? Slavery, beat them, you know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. Actually raped them people. Right. Yeah, all, all uh -huh. that kind of Exactly, that, that's out of the Bible right yeah. here, right? It said that we're gonna go into slavery again, but it's gonna be by ships. That's out of the Bible. Yeah. This prophesied thousands and thousands of yeah. years ago before yeah. it happened, right? Yeah. So read on. By the way, what of I spake unto thee. Uh-huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. Right, so we're not going to see our homeland again. Our homeland is Jerusalem, it's Israel, right? Read on. And there. And where? And, and there. 
there and there that that place that we got sold that we that we got shipped to right read on ye shall be sold he shall be what ye, ye shall, shall be sold he shall be sold no 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 sold to master johnson no 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 sold to master to master jeffrey right that happened we were sold right when we got off the slave ships right read on unto your enemy unto who unto, unto your, your enemies, enemies. Who were we sold to when we got off the ship? What race of people were we sold to? What race of people were we sold to when we got off the slave ship? Um, actually, okay, I don't know if I'm going to red right I don't know if it's white people, you know what I mean? Well, it's, it's, it's a specific race of people that we were sold to. Okay. Who, you, what race of people were we sold to when we got off the ship? I know, I know that part. No, it's, it's, it's the Caucasians, the white people, right? Right, the, right. the, the, okay, the so-called okay, white okay, people. Okay. We, we were sold to them. Yeah. 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 But, but read that part again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Unto who? Unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. So it says we're going to be sold. Give him a hand. Hello, yeah. Brother's getting it, right? <laughs> right. We were sold to our enemies. Our enemies is everybody that's not our people, right? Yeah. Because all of all these other races and all these other nations have played a part. In the destruction of our people. Right, exactly. Exactly, right? Uh-huh. Give me um you can come back to the give me Star Rack 12 and 10. Give me Star Rack 12 and 10. That's, that's powerful, right? We can't trust them with anything, right? We know their history. The history of them bringing us here on slave ships, right? The history of them of them, you know, hanging our people for, for doing nothing, shooting our people down in the streets. We know that history, right? So we can't trust them with anything. Right, read that real quick. Star Rack chapter 12, verse 10. Read it out! Never trust thine enemy. Read that again. Never, never trust, trust thine, thine enemy. enemy. Scripture says, never trust your enemy. Never trust these other nations. Never trust the Chinese man. Never trust the white man. Never trust the Arab. Never trust these other people, right? Because their benefit or their, their purpose is not to, to, to benefit us or to help us in any way. The, their purpose is to destroy us, is to keep us in the same condition. Because as long as we're down, they're up. Right. And that's that's a curse that would happen to us. They're gonna be up. They're gonna be the head and we're gonna be the tail. That's another that's another that's one of the other curses that we were that we that were in that same chapter of Deuteronomy. That they're gonna be the head, we're gonna be the tail. We're gonna be at the bottom, they're gonna be on top. And that all stems from our disobedience to God. Right? Now go back to uh, finish out on Deuteronomy. And you shall be sold unto your enemies. Uh-huh. For bondmen. For what? For, for bondmen. Bond for bondmen, read on. And bond women. And bond women. Slave men and slave women, right? Read on. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. That means that it doesn't mean that you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be brought here and nobody's gonna buy you. It means nobody's gonna redeem you, nobody's gonna save you. You know, a lot of people have tried. Marcus Garvey, uh, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, you know, they tried to save our people from this condition, but it doesn't work. You know, we're still in the same condition to this day. You may, we may not have the, you know, the chains on us or anything like that, but we're still slaves mentally because we don't know who we are as a people. Yeah. You know, a lot of people they say that their 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 nationality or their heritage is black, right? They'll say that they're black, which is the color out of the crown bus. It's not a nationality. So what does the, um, yeah. you, um, what does the, yeah, every Friday night? <laughs> Mostly um, every Friday night we get. Actually, I'm from Charlotte, right? Okay. But we trying to move from Charlotte from here. So we, okay. I only playing here yesterday. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. And she's actually there right now. Okay. So I mean like when I got any cars or anything, so, when I got any cars, like there's the cars. I know that one is Oh we got we got we got we got a flyer for you. Yeah, oh it's good, that's good man. Alright. You know what I mean? Even if I can uh -huh. be like come and tight with a cake, you know what I mean? Yeah. And be a part of winner, you know what I mean? Of course. Because I like one of my you know what I mean? Yes. I think so. I believe in God. I just like, decided to come here with uh, my, my, my friends and stuff and everything. So I feel you. Yeah. Okay, so, definitely check that flyer out when you yeah. get How long are you going to be down here for? Um, I'm leaving Monday. Leaving Monday? Okay, yeah. so you'll be down here. Okay, perfect. So we're actually having a Sabbath service, right? We have a, a location on the flyer, right? Right up here. 2937 West Broad Boulevard. That's not too far okay. from here. So we were having a service at that location from 12 o'clock to around like 3, right. 3 to 3.30 p.m. We, we be living here. We, we gonna be living here. Because we gonna look at 
Oh, yeah. so you're still so you're gonna be leaving this area? No, I should be leaving it in Charlotte. Right, right. But you say you're not leaving until Monday, though, right? Right, we leave in Monday. Right. We, okay. We, we leave in Monday, but we just want to be living here. You know what I mean? But you want to be living here, okay? Yes. yes okay, yes, I got yes. you. More, and more hot, you know, the weather is nice <laughs> and stuff and everything. I feel you. Yes, definitely, yes, man. Yes. So we, yes. we definitely hope you make that move. But if you have time tomorrow, yes. you know, definitely come through to that address at the top right there. Yes, we yes. also have a YouTube page. Um, I don't know if you. Oh, not on this side. I don't know if you have your phone with you, but if you if you uh, take a picture or yeah, try yeah, to take yeah, a picture, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, we have our YouTube page, our Instagram page there as well. Yes, and, uh, yeah, of course, brother. Nice, nice to meet you. What's your name? What's your name? Dayton. You said Dayton? Dayton. 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 Nice to meet you. Dayton. Give, him, yeah, give, give the brother, give the brother your number. Dayton. Oh, sorry. Get yeah, get his number yeah, so you stay in contact with him. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. No, hallelujah. Give, give the most high hand, man. Hallelujah. Give the most high, man. See, that's what we are here to do. We are here to connect those dots to our people, man. Because our people, they know about these things that happen, man. They know about all the, the trials, all the tribulations, right? But they don't know they don't know specifically why these things happen. There's always a reason for everything. There's always a reason for everything. And the reasons are out of this Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta move in the speed.